Hi guys, so today I'm going to try out Spellbinder's new uh, dice set. This is part of the BB's um, Hummingbird collection. Uh, it's the Hummingbird card creator, and as you can see it's a large hummingbird, and the reason it's a card creator is because you can put it on the edge of a you know folded piece of paper, and then you have a card that's pretty much 5 by 7 size, I would say. That's the shape of a hummingbird. Um, so Spellbinder's did send these items free of charge from review, and of course all opinions are my own, and any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchase items to those links so thank you for using those if you would like um i think today i'm just going to go ahead and cut her out and put it on a card which i already have a card base here i have a five by seven card base but let's say you wanted the shaped uh card so again you would just take a piece of paper you know whatever size that accommodates it this again is a five by seven card so i would say yeah if you did a card that was five by seven you need to hinge it right so that means you need to leave a little bit off so that it'll fold there right so it doesn't get cut um, so if you did a, from a 5x7 card base, it looks like that would work out for you. You're going to run it through, and then you're going to have a hinged shaped card. And then you would cut this out again, possibly, because you're going to uh, cut off a little bit of the wing there. Um, it's not going to be there, right? To put on top of that, and then when you open it up, you have the blank card inside. Again, that's the bird shape. But today, I'm going to cut this guy out. I think I'm just going to pop him on here. We're going to put him on here really carefully so that, you know, it fits. Uh, obviously, the die has some edges that stick out. But for now, uh, we have that. I just want to talk a little bit about the different pieces that come with it. So we have the, you know, his little beak and eye portion there. So generally, you know, I would cut this out in black. Um, sometimes I do gold, something pretty like that. You have a little, like, hood for his little head here. So you can do that different color. And then you also have this under uh, portion here, like his little cheek and chin area, whatever it's called on a bird, sorry, gullet, I don't know, <laughs> anyway, you have this piece, they can go there, um, and then you have this beautiful piece, uh, two pieces, so you have this background piece and then the topper, so you can add a couple different colors, uh, there's a stamp set that goes with this collection, I do not have it with me right now, but you can definitely use those stamps to stamp like a little sentiment or something like that on the belly, um, I've seen some examples that way, and then we have all these sprigs, and the point of the sprigs um, is to basically come out of of the little wings here and you just kind of or behind I mean it's whatever you want to do right um, and then you decorate them so you have these different sprigs oopsie or branches should I say however and then you have all these flowers I mean this one cuts out a ton at once this one cuts out a fewer but a fewer amount but they are more um, or larger in size should I say uh, lots of centers little cups like that little kind of cup look is what goes on here to make it a little bit different super cute so you know larger flower here so what I'm going to do is grab some paper uh, for my background I think I'm gonna grab some of the stampendous like quick card paper because it's already decorated and really fun so I think I'll use that for the background and I was even thinking about doing some accent pieces on the actual bird with those papers I think that'd be really fun uh, I'm gonna try using some of the new uh, Essentials cardstock colors that I shared with you guys in a recent launch video So I'll link that video in the description box, but there are some like corally Deeper velvet rose colors that are really lovely. So I think that'd be really fun and then incorporating me with those stampendous papers So let's uh, just get started. I'll be right back already. So I grabbed um, the papers I've been working with in the last few videos. So again velvet rose and with the lighter one called peach sorbet we have some yellows in here, but when I grab these papers, these are a little more bright. Um, this one right here, so these are the stampendous papers. How gorgeous is that with the velvet rose and even the yellows? So yes, 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 yes. So I'm gonna trim this down to matte layer on my card base. So if it's a five by seven card, I'll do um, four and seven eighths by six and seven eighths, okay? And I'll be right back. Okay, so there I have that. It's gonna be lovely. So I'm just gonna glue that down. I love it already, so pretty. Um, and then, as far as our bird is concerned here, what I want to do is, I just have these scraps of paper from having used them previously. Uh, I think I'll make the whole birdie um, this color. So that's the velvet rose, and however I can run that through. It has some embossed areas, and some of the embossed areas help you place like these other pieces, right? So you have it uh, really nice, and then some of it just gives you texture. So we'll have that. I'm going to go ahead and run this through black paper because I want it to be really stark. I think what I want is for the background, like this background piece, and maybe this little gullet piece to be something from the paper pack. So again, it'll be like that velvet rose, and then some of this coming back through. So I'm just going to grab a scrap of the paper. 
Um, let's see. This one. And I'll run through. So it's barely going to be showing. I'm going to top it with another piece, but you know, uh, however you like. So I'll, I'll probably run it through there so that larger piece and then a little piece that goes under his little chin, maybe right here. I think that looks good. So I'll tape those down so they don't move. And then we have um, the lighter pink color, the peach sorbet that I'll run that through. And also, oh, what's that little piece? The little piece on his little head, <laughs> the little top piece. I was saying this must be here. So this guy too, the little top piece of his head. And I'll wrap that down. And let's check this guy out. So pretty. Yeah, it would make a nice sizable card. Look at that. Loving this cardstock. It's super nice and thick. And I think I'm just gonna build her up and then we'll do the flowers. So making sure I have all my pieces here. Alright, so let's see about this guy. And, you know, hmm. Maybe. Well, let's just build it up before I glue it down. So, this guy. Like I said, a lot of this is going to be covered up. So if you wanted to use this on the outer tummy part, that part, that would be great too. Because then you can have a little more design. But I just kind of want it to be subtle. So, again, there are some little scallops embedded in the little tummy there that you know that's where that goes and then of course with this one you're just going to pretty much line it up on the end wherever it fits the best and like I said she does have a stamp set that goes with this that you can just pop on there little sentiment little saying whatever is that you want to put on there that curve looks like it fits the best there so that's why I'm popping that there and then we have the little uh, areas here. Um, let's go ahead and put the eyeball. <laughs> oh, look at my glue is getting ready to go. Um, first. Oh my gosh, just putting that detail just pops so well. And then I'll do this little guy. I do love it in that black contrasting so nice. And you definitely don't have to work in the air like I am, but it seems like I'm always doing that. And then this little hood part. I'm just following the lines. Like I said, there are embossed areas there. Hopefully you can kind of see them. Let's pick that guy up. Yeah, that's perfect. So again, just kind of following what's there and it just fits like a puzzle. Hold that down and then this little area. Okay. And maybe, so what I was thinking is putting maybe some uh, dimensional under here so it kind of holds it up while this is flat and then we put the um, beautiful sprigs in. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll put a couple just dimensionals. I'm not going to put them too high. And you can definitely stack dimensionals, you know, like two of them or however if you want it higher. But I'm not going to go too crazy with it. Just a little something. Help me hold this up. And I'm going to do it now, but you can definitely decorate with the flowers and all that first. And let's see, so if that's up like that, what I'm going to do is put glue all over the little body down in here. I really just see where that fits best. One more this way, just... little over. There we go. So again the wings have some dimension while the rest of it kind of stays flat down here. And it's protected with a little dimension back there. Okay, I'm gonna let that set up. I'm gonna find some colors for my sprigs and things and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so you know I was actually thinking the sprigs might have been needed to be tucked under here if you're gonna do that or you can place them obviously around the bird however it is. But we're gonna cut them out and see what, uh, what we can do since I've already stuck those down. Now these guys, you have all these little bits at the top, right? They look, I don't know what kind of plant or flower that would be, but they're so cute. Um, oh gosh, it reminds me of something you see those like wildflowers, but I can't think of the name. So that's why you have so many, they cut out at once and you can just pop them on there. Uh, I think I'm gonna do these little guys, which every time I show this, someone always tells me what it is and I forget. Maybe like an echinacea, 
Black Eyed Susan. There's something that looks like this and it has a little top. Oh, what's it called? Anyhow, so I'm going to do this one. So I need a sprig that has basically three little, you know, guys. Um, and, and there's all different ones. So like this one is a little bit different than like this guy. These guys look like they might be similar, but just a little different. And so let's do these. So I'm going to run this through twice through um, this kind of deeper orange color. Uh, Tuscan Excuse Sun. Me, it's called Tuscan Sun. So I'm going to run that through twice. Then I just have this little scrap of paper here that honestly, if I can get both of these on here, that would be great. So I'm going to try to run those through. And it's just some paper that I have in my stash that's kind of a cute colorway. I think it has little gold dots. I'll try to get this one on here. Maybe this one and this one. However it is that it fits best so I can get them both. So I'll run those through. And then for the little top parts of those cone kind of flowers there, I need this twice, this area. Right? And then we can cut other ones, you know, to kind of pop them in here and there if you would like. But for now, let's focus on that and okay, I'll be right so back. We have our flowers here. And so, again, I like to put the little glue here and then bring over the parts that I need. So, like this little guy. I know it's small, maybe hard to see there. Sorry. It's just putting those little gold bits on the very top there. And I'll do the same thing with the other three that I have ready here. And then these guys, we can then take and put them on our sprigs. So again, I chose two different ones. They have similar leaves, just so that they, you know, pair up. And again, you can put them kind of like in here. I mean, you can tuck them in behind your bird or however, whatever it is that you want to do with them, right? Um, I had seen an example where it was all flowers that are so cute because they're so small and like wildflower looking, just adorable. So I'll put those there. And actually, I'm going to this down and just stick these guys on wherever. Like that. And I was kind of playful with the placement. And I'll do the same thing for the other sprig. Okay, sorry, I have lots of things around me here. Um, so cute. Oh my goodness. So I think I'm going to just going to stick them down in here. And so what I'm going to do is just put some glue. Let me see, this is a little more delicate, so I do want to put glue in more areas than not. You know, in the little leaves and everything. And since I already stuck down her little body, I didn't do the best job of sticking it down. So what I'm going to do is just open that up just a little bit. Pop those little flowers in there. And then I'll do the same thing for this other side. Just glue it down and kind of get those in there. Um, again, we have lots of little flowers to play with. And then I went ahead and grabbed a sentiment just to finish her off from the Floral Friendship Sentiments. Lots of fun different things we're trying out today. And I'm just going to put that there. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on this and I'll stick it right here. And I'll be right back. My gorgeous card. I am loving the way all these things pull together. You know, from the new papers, from those stampendous papers. And I'm just going to pop this right here. Just cute and fun. Oh, you know what? I didn't take the carrier off of this one. And that is my card for today. Made really quickly and easily. Those dies chef's kiss they work so well i love the size of it so you can just put um a really nice uh, sizable card together really quickly so thanks for watching guys thank you so much spellbinders for sending these items for review what i'm going to do is have some images coming up i'll have the links in the description box and spellbinders is running a thing usually their sales run about a week um an automatic 15 percent off your cart of 125 dollars or more so um, as long as you put 125 or more in your cart um, it'll just come off automatically there so thanks for watching guys i'll see you at the next one bye now